Hey there, everybody. You ought to know by now, that's not how we roll. But since I have your attention, if your permaculture influencer of choice is preferring, choosing to celebrate some faceless megacorp instead of the growers and the doers and the nurseries and the permaculturalists and the people in their community, you should stop paying attention to them. We're back in the greenhouse. It's 70, 78, 78 degrees in here. Humidity is pretty low for some of the cuttings I have going, so we'll have to bring a spray bottle in here in a moment. But you can see our little three barrel, three bucket setup. We're currently in the process of potting up with reused pots, recycled pots from other local nurseries and from other local companies who the suppliers of whom are unwilling to recycle their non-branded pots. So we're putting them to further use. And I gotta say, there are dozens of us in your area who are doing this work of growing plants of taking cuttings, of propagating things from seed, of doing the work for the community and with the community. And those folks deserve your attention and your affection and your eyeballs and not the people who are telling you to spend money at a megacorp. Sorry for the aggressive intro. Uh, I know it's I know it's April Fools. I know I kind of got you with that old bait and switch. Ha ha! But mm, I saw something recently that really incensed me. And if you see something that upsets you enough to change how your mood is, you should make fun of it. You should do something in opposition to it, and then you should involve other people in that works to reduce its impact and reduce its footprint in your life and the lives of those people you care about. So the rest of this video is going to be me saying a couple of people and a couple of things. Um, this greenhouse is way too noisy. And I'm not entirely sure if the wind is going to make anything much better, but we recently went to the nursery owned by our next door neighbor, who's a wonderful person. And she lives in our town and her business, her family business that's been in her family is uh, a few towns over. She started the nursery at their spot five years ago, uh, which is uh, just a touch longer ago. No, that's about the same time that we started our nursery aspirations. And though the two of us have taken different tacks on it, the camaraderie of local growers and people who are here to see other people happy with their gardens and happy in their properties or the spaces they inhabit um, is palpable and it's tantamount and it is the most important thing you should be looking for. I, I make no bones about it. I have issues with cross-state shipping. Uh, I have issues with ordering in hundreds or thousands of plugs from out of state. Don't get me wrong, I love shipping to you folks, but I think that you're choosing to ship from us because of a shared set of ethics and values, and the price point probably doesn't hurt because I'm here to support my garden addiction, not to make a quick buck off of you or some faceless sponsor from the video that I don't share things or the existence of with you. That's, that's not cool. So check out Sean's video from Edible Acres where he invites people who have nurseries to say their nursery. Maybe someone in those comments is local to you and you could give them your, your, your eyeballs and your attention and your friendship and maybe your money if that's what you're into. Maybe they're looking for something to swap and you've got it. And you can build that community for yourself and for them. And you can make more fundamental connections with the po people that are doing the work instead of the people here to just make a buck. Check out my buddy Simon's project, permapeople.org. They've got 
dozens and dozens of growers who might be local to you who are looking to ship or swap or trade plants. They've got a garden planner. They have a repository of plants that are just there to make your life and your gardens better. And they're not asking you for money. They're just asking you to use it and to share it with people who you think could use it. So do that instead. Find the local growers. Find the people who are doing the work that you agree with because we all agree that it's important that we are doing what we can within our power to repair some small fraction of the damage that has been done. And we can make a real difference if we stop rewarding places and people who are just here to separate us from our money while celebrating the, the worst instincts of humanity. So, that's it. The joke was really just in the beginning. There's going to be a bunch of links down at the bottom in the description to other people and projects that I think are freaking amazing. And I hope that if you agree with me that there are too many teachers and too many charlatans and not enough practitioners, give these folks a time. Till next time. Thanks for watching. Happy planting.